verse for today. One finds in the records that the prophet Jeremiah ordered those who were being deported to take some of the fire as has been mentioned. 2 Maccabees chapter 2 verse 1. The people of God were subject to exile. They were to evacuate their homes, towns, a trade centers, above all the zenith of their glory and their legacy, the Jerusalem temple. Desperate and distraught with nothing much to render hopes on, the people set forth to Babylon to begin their next phase of life. Jeremiah, the prophet instructed them to take some of the fire to their new place of habitation. Now what was this instruction intended for? The fire of the temple was a manifestation of God's presence, his glory and favor upon the people. The prophet eluded their thinking to what had happened when Moses prayed. Fire came down from the heavens and consumed the sacrifices of the people. Likewise he reminded them of Solomon who prayed thus in the temple following which fire from the heavens came down and consumed the burnt offerings that were made to the Lord To you and me this fire is the spirit of Jesus we have been anointed during our baptism we were cleansed sanctified and renewed as sons of the kingdom of God that day when this fire was a flame in us There may have been situations when we had let the flames to settle and die off as we wandered with the fun desires and fanfare of this world. It is just a pinch of leaven that levitates the entire bread and so are we. In all that we are today, with the flash of the spirit of Jesus in us, we would be no less extraordinary. Today's word from the Lord reminds us to stimulate our faith, hope and love by the power of the holy spirit in us and by frequent reception of the sacraments we propel grace to overpower our human natures in jesus always remember you are no less extraordinary carry the lord to your homes institutions workplaces and your people this is what you have been distinctly set apart for by jesus amen dr mini shrino